I am Will Scott. We have some breaking news on Chat Sports this morning. Texas men's basketball coach Chris Beard has been arrested on a felony domestic violence charge. He was arrested early Monday morning in Austin. This is the report. University of Texas head men's basketball coach Chris Beard was arrested and charged with assault on a family member early Monday. Austin police confirm we are attempting to learn more. Now, the University of Texas did release a statement. Here is what they said. The university is aware of the situation regarding Chris Beard. We are continuing to gather information and monitor the legal process. Now, Beard is in his second season at the helm in Austin, was hired by Texas in April of 2021, leaving Texas Tech, where he had a lot of success leading the Red Raiders to the Final Four. The Longhorns currently number two in the AP poll, and they actually have a game tonight against Rice, at least for now. Uh, we'll see what happens there with that game. But obviously, we're still learning more information. But uh, the hope right now is that the family member that has been impacted is okay. And that's really all we can think about right now, is hoping that that family member is okay. But Beard arrested, and I believe no bond at this time what is your one word reaction to chris beard's arrest some shocking news that we received this morning go down in the comment section and let me know it will be um you know something that we continue to follow here on chat sports as we gather more information about the arrest also wanted to update you on Mike Leach. Obviously heard the news last night that he had been hospitalized and he is believed to be in critical condition. And just moments ago, we got this update from the Clarion Ledger newspaper. Mississippi State football coach Mike Leach had a massive heart attack on Sunday in Starkville and was transported to the University of Mississippi Medical Center in Jackson, where he is still being cared for on Monday. So, we knew that he had been hospitalized. We knew that he was in critical condition. We did not know the full details, but now we do know that he suffered a massive heart attack. Robbie Falk of 24-7 tweeted this last night. After this tweet, we, we knew that it was pretty serious. Mike Leach needs a miracle, folks. Continue to pray. Ross Dellinger of Sports Illustrated followed with this. Mike Leach's health situation is critical. Keep the coach and his family in your thoughts. Mississippi State put out a statement before those tweets last night, before we knew kind of the severity of the situation. Mississippi State University head football coach Mike Leach had a personal health issue at his home earlier today, Sunday, December 11, 2022. That issue led to a decision to transfer Coach Leach to the University of Mississippi Medical Center in Jackson by ambulance. That is the extent of information that Mississippi State has available regarding Coach Leach's condition. And the university will make no other comment at this time other than to say that the thoughts and prayers of the university are with Mike and Sharon and their family. President Mark E. Keenum and Interim Athletics Director Bracky Brett have conferred and the decision has been made to place defensive coordinator Zach Arnett in charge of the Mississippi State University football team until Coach Leach returns. Practice for the bowl game and recruiting operations will continue and Mike Leach um, you know obviously a great football coach but he's so good for the sport his personality obviously I mean it feels like every interview he does every press conference he has goes viral but on top of that uh, he's just a good man a good family man it appears and we're certainly uh, praying for him right now and praying for his family hopefully he can pull through go down to the comments section and type a prayer emoji in the chat for Coach Leach. Again, he has been hospitalized due to a massive heart attack that he suffered yesterday. He is at the University of Mississippi Medical Center in Jackson, Mississippi, uh, getting uh, cared for right now as we are recording this on Monday late morning. Go down and type those prayer emojis for Coach Leach. Next, we will talk about some college football rumors, some conference realignment stuff, as well as some transfer portal news. But first, I want to tell you all about our new sponsor, Rocket Money. And this is the sponsor for you if you are tired 
of wasting money on subscriptions. In fact, 80% of people, myself included, I'm sure you as well, have, subscrip have subscriptions they forget about. Maybe for you, it's an unused Amazon Prime account or a Hulu account that never gets streamed. There's this great app I use. It helps me keep track of all my expenses, and because of it, I no longer waste money on subscriptions I don't use. You might have heard of it. It's called Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. The app shows all of your subscriptions in one place and then cancels for you whatever you don't still want. Rocket Money can even find subscriptions you didn't even know you were paying for. You may even find out you've been double charged for a subscription. To cancel one, all you got to do is press cancel. They will take care of the rest. Get rid of Useless subscriptions with Rocket Money now. Go to rocketmoney.com slash NFL daily. Seriously, could save hundreds per year. That's rocketmoney.com slash NFL daily. I got a Disney Plus account just to watch Elton John's uh, last concert, producer Patrick Seaman, and I forgot to cancel it. Good thing Rocket Money reminded me that I forgot to cancel it, and they canceled it for me, saving me about $10 this month. There's other subscriptions that I didn't know I had that they made me aware of. Rocketmoney.com slash NFL daily. Cancel unnecessary subscriptions. They're also going to track how much money you're spending per month. It'll really help you save money. Wanted to get into those conference realignment rumors. Brett McMurphy tweeted this. There's growing sentiment and momentum for OU and Texas to leave the Big 12 early and join the SEC in 2024, sources told Action Network. There still remains obstacles for it to occur, but, quote, climate is right and decision could be reached by next month, sources said. Here is what he said in his article, providing more information. The Big 12's current grants of, grant of rights expires July 1st, 2025, and so that's why 2025 is a target date. Oklahoma and Texas have indicated they're committed to remaining in the Big 12 until then, moving to the SEC for the 2025 season. However, that timetable that time has since been accelerated, and it could even be completed by next month. There remains many obstacles for an early move. But one source said that climate, if the climate is right, for the Sooners and Longhorns to exit the Big 12 after the 2023 season and begin playing the SEC in 2024. There's a lot of moving parts, but there is a desire on many fronts to get this done, an industry source said. Now, here is why McMurphy said an early move is possible. You have the Big Ten expanding in 2024 to 16 teams. So from a logistics perspective, it would make sense for the SEC to expand there as well. You also have college football playoff expansion to 12 teams in 2024. The Big 12 is adding new teams, and Texas and OU might want to get out for that reason as well. And then the Big 12 has a new media deal as well. So those are the four reasons. But those top two make a lot of sense and why a move could happen in 2024. I want you all to tell me, though, who's going to fare better in the SEC? Is it going to be Texas or is it going to be Oklahoma? Type TEX or type OU down in the comment section. Oklahoma obviously had a pretty rough year going 6-6 six and six in the Big 12. SEC is not going to be... Not going to be an easier. And then Texas uh, looking to be on the right path here under Steve Sarkeesian. They went 8-4 and four in 2022. Definitely want to hit on the transfer portal. Wisconsin transfer quarterback Graham Mertz visited Florida over the weekend. Now, there was a report last week that he was expected to transfer to Kentucky. Will Levis declared for the draft. But now Florida appears to be in the mix here. Their uh, SEC East rival in the mix for the Big Ten quarterback, who obviously had a lot of hype after his first career start in 2020. And, you know, it's been decent still. Uh, hasn't really reached those expectations that we had for him. But 19 touchdowns, 10 picks, over 2,000 yards with Wisconsin this past year. I think this is a good fit for both sides because Florida needs a quarterback. Anthony Richardson is declaring for the draft and then Graham Mertz, you know, I still feel like, and it's hard to say this because he's been in college for four years, but still has to get to reach his full potential. I think this is a really good talent. Maybe Billy Napier can get a lot more out of him. Where do you think Graham Mertz is headed? Type UK, type Florida, or type other down in the comments section. So FLA for Florida, UK for Kentucky, or O for other down in the comments section. I would still say Kentucky. It appears that Florida is making a, a serious push to land him, but I think Kentucky makes a lot of sense for Mertz as well, but it does appear to be between Florida and Kentucky here when you're talking about Graham Mertz, the Wisconsin transfer quarterback. The Trayshawn Holden sweepstakes, though, have ended, and he is Oregon-bound. 
the Alabama transfer wide receiver, announced his commitment to Oregon. Here is his announcement. He's throwing up the O. He's going to Eugene, and that's a really big pickup for this Ducks team. Uh, Dan Lanning, a spectacular first season. Obviously, they didn't finish it the way they wanted, losing to Oregon State, uh, but still a really good first season for Lanning at the helm in Eugene. Here's what Holden did. Last seat, six touchdowns, 331 yards, 25 receptions. Uh, actually was second on the team in touchdowns. So uh, Treshawn Holden's a heck of a talent and maybe can be fully unleashed over there with the Oregon Ducks. We're always going to have you covered on the latest college basketball, college football news, especially the transfer portal rumors and news. So be sure to go down, subscribe to the channel. We'll always have you up to date.